Why was Wallace not as well known as Darwin? While Darwin was well connected to the scientific establishment of the time, Wallace entered the scene somewhat later and so was less well known. Although Darwin would become far more famous than Wallace in subsequent decades, Wallace became quite well known during his own time as a naturalist, writer, and lecturer. He was also honored with numerous awards for his work. How did Hugo de Vries demonstrate sympatric speciation? Hugo de Vries, 1848-1935, discovered a way in which a population could become a separate species while still sharing the same environment with other members of the species. The process, known as sympatric speciation, occurs almost exclusively in plants rather than in animals and involves a series of rare genetic accidents that can occur during the formation of gametes, eggs and sperm. As a result, gametes are formed as polyploids that is. They have extra copies of each chromosome and thus are unable to match their chromosomes to others of the same species. Since these polyploids are forced to mate only with other polyploids in the population, they are reproductively isolated and considered a new species. How did Hugo de Vries demonstrate sympatric speciation? Hugo de Vries, 1848-1935, discovered a way in which a population could become a separate species while still sharing the same environment with other members of the species. The process, known as sympatric speciation, occurs almost exclusively in plants rather than in animals and involves a series of rare genetic accidents that can occur during the formation of gametes, eggs and sperm. As a result, gametes are formed as polyploids that is. They have extra copies of each chromosome and thus are unable to match their chromosomes to others of the same species. Since these polyploids are forced to mate only with other polyploids in the population, they are reproductively isolated and considered a new species. What is the evolutionary time scale? Trends in the fossil record require at least one million years to resolve themselves. And so paleontologists tend to work on a scale of 10 to 20 million years. Evolutionary biologists working on living species tend to describe selection as it occurs over a decade or less. What is the evolutionary time scale? Trends in the fossil record require at least one million years to resolve themselves. And so paleontologists tend to work on a scale of 10 to 20 million years. 
Evolutionary Biologists Working on Living Species Tend to describe selection as it occurs over a decade or less. What separates humans from primates? Morphologic and molecular studies suggest that our closest living relative species is the chimpanzee. Although some of the evidence is conflicting. We do know that analysis of protein structure in both chimps and humans indicates that. Approximately 98% of our gene sequences are functionally identical. Meaning that if the gene sequences differ it is not enough to radically change the proteins produced from them. It is also estimated that our last common ancestor with the chimp would have lived at least 5 million years ago. What separates humans from primates? Morphologic and molecular studies suggest that our closest living relative species is the chimpanzee. Although some of the evidence is conflicting. We do know that analysis of protein structure in both chimps and humans indicates that. Approximately 98% of our gene sequences are functionally identical. Meaning that if the gene sequences differ it is not enough to radically change the proteins produced from them. It is also estimated that our last common ancestor with the chimp would have lived at least 5 million years ago. What is adaptive radiation? As populations move into new environments and adapt to those local conditions, there is an increase in diversity. This splitting creates a divergence from the original population. When diagrammed on paper, the new populations appear to be radiating outward from the original like the spokes of a wheel an iguana in the Galapagos Islands. Because island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland, they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. What is adaptive radiation? As populations move into new environments and adapt to those local conditions, there is an increase in diversity. This splitting creates a divergence from the original population. When diagrammed on paper, the new populations appear to be radiating outward from the original like the spokes of a wheel an iguana in the Galapagos Islands. Because island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland, they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. What is cladogenesis?
Cladogenesis is the formation of a group of species that share a common ancestor. Cladogenesis can occur as a result of adaptive radiation, which is the divergence or splitting of one species into several. What is cladogenesis? Cladogenesis is the formation of a group of species that share a common ancestor. Cladogenesis can occur as a result of adaptive radiation, which is the divergence or splitting of one species into several. What is anagenesis? When a species gradually changes over time to the extent that it becomes a new species but does not give rise to additional species, no divergence, this is described as anagenesis. What is anagenesis? When a species gradually changes over time to the extent that it becomes a new species but does not give rise to additional species, no divergence, this is described as anagenesis. Why are islands a good place to study evolution? Island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland. Therefore, they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. This provides researchers an opportunity to study not only how natural selection works on populations but also what forces may be at work on the mainland populations as well. Why are islands a good place to study evolution? Island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland. Therefore, they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. This provides researchers an opportunity to study not only how natural selection works on populations but also what forces may be at work on the mainland populations as well. What are the different types of natural selection? There are several ways in which natural selection can cause a population to change. Natural selection can cause a trait to change in one direction only. For example when individuals within a population grow taller with each generation, this is known as directional selection. Diversifying selection can cause the loss of individuals in the mid-range of a trait. For example, if there is a range in color of a certain prey species from very dark to very light. Those individuals in the mid-color range may not be able to hide from predators. The mid-color prey will then be selectively removed from the population. 
leaving the population with only two forms, the very dark and the very light. In stabilizing selection, those at either end of the range are removed more often. Creating selection pressure for the mid-range. Selection can also work on traits important to sexual reproduction, this is known as sexual selection. What are the different types of natural selection? There are several ways in which natural selection can cause a population to change. Natural selection can cause a trait to change in one direction only. For example when individuals within a population grow taller with each generation, this is known as directional selection. Diversifying selection can cause the loss of individuals in the mid-range of a trait. For example, if there is a range in color of a certain prey species from very dark to very light. Those individuals in the mid-color range may not be able to hide from predators. The mid-color prey will then be selectively removed from the population. Leaving the population with only two forms, the very dark and the very light. In stabilizing selection, those at either end of the range are removed more often. Creating selection pressure for the mid-range. Selection can also work on traits important to sexual reproduction, this is known as sexual selection. What is sexual selection? When individuals of the same sex differ in their mating success and that difference is correlated to the presence or absence of a particular trait, that trait is said to be the result of sexual selection. Traits that provide no benefit to survival but that increase the likelihood of the male acquiring a mate are examples of sexual selection. What is sexual selection? When individuals of the same sex differ in their mating success and that difference is correlated to the presence or absence of a particular trait, that trait is said to be the result of sexual selection. Traits that provide no benefit to survival but that increase the likelihood of the male acquiring a mate are examples of sexual selection. What does species diversity have to do with evolution? Species diversity is direct evidence that evolution has occurred. When species can be identified in which individuals share a number of significant traits. While also having some unique adaptations, it is logical to assume that the common traits are the result of common origin while the unique ones demonstrate adaptive radiation. An example of the significance of species diversity would be Darwin's finches of the Galapagos Islands. While the species share a common body structure that is inherited from a common ancestor, each species also demonstrates variations in beak size and structure that are 
indicative of their adaptations to local environments and the type of food available. What does species diversity have to do with evolution? Species diversity is direct evidence that evolution has occurred. When species can be identified in which individuals share a number of significant traits. While also having some unique adaptations, it is logical to assume that the common traits are the result of common origin while the unique ones demonstrate adaptive radiation. An example of the significance of species diversity would be Darwin's finches of the Galapagos Islands. While the species share a common body structure that is inherited from a common ancestor, each species also demonstrates variations in beak size and structure that are indicative of their adaptations to local environments and the type of food available. What is the controversy surrounding the midwife toad? During the 1920s an Austrian biologist, Paul Kammerer, 1880-1926, rose to prominence with claims that he had been able to demonstrate Lamarckian evolution, that is the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Kammerer had bred midwife toads, a land breeding species, in water filled aquaria for generations and reported that the toads had acquired the same structures that water breeding toads used to hold onto each other. When Kammerer's toads were examined, they were found to have been injected with dye to mimic the pads found on the water breeding toad species. Although Kammerer insisted that he was innocent, his reputation was ruined. And he committed suicide shortly thereafter. What is the controversy surrounding the midwife toad? During the 1920s an Austrian biologist, Paul Kammerer, 1880-1926, rose to prominence with claims that he had been able to demonstrate Lamarckian evolution, that is the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Kammerer had bred midwife toads, a land breeding species, in water-filled aquaria for generations and reported that the toads had acquired the same structures that water breeding toads used to hold onto each other. When Kammerer's toads were examined, they were found to have been injected with dye to mimic the pads found on the water breeding toad species. Although Kammerer insisted that he was innocent, his reputation was ruined and he committed suicide shortly thereafter. Why did sexual reproduction evolve? The appearance and maintenance of energetically expensive traits like sexual reproduction will occur only if there is a net benefit to the fitness of individuals with those traits. There are costs to sexual reproduction, for example. Finding a mate can demand considerable time and energy. 
More importantly, individuals engaging in sexual reproduction only pass on half of their genes to each offspring. So their fitness is half that of a sexually reproducing individuals. Scientists have examined the costs and benefits of sexual reproduction and determined that it is most likely to have evolved as a way to maintain genetic diversity. Experiments have shown that populations in erratic environments or those who are reproductively isolated from the rest of their species are at an advantage when they reproduce sexually rather than asexually. By being able to mix and match alleles, individuals within these populations can maintain genetic diversity and phenotypic variation. Expanding their toolkit as a hedge against an unpredictable future. Why did sexual reproduction evolve? The appearance and maintenance of energetically expensive traits like sexual reproduction will occur only if there is a net benefit to the fitness of individuals with those traits. There are costs to sexual reproduction, for example. Finding a mate can demand considerable time and energy. More importantly, Individuals engaging in sexual reproduction only pass on half of their genes to each offspring. So their fitness is half that of asexually reproducing individuals. Scientists have examined the costs and benefits of sexual reproduction and determined that it is most likely to have evolved as a way to maintain genetic diversity. Experiments have shown that populations in erratic environments or those who are reproductively isolated from the rest of their species are at an advantage when they reproduce sexually rather than asexually. By being able to mix and match alleles, individuals within these populations can maintain genetic diversity and phenotypic variation. Expanding their toolkit as a hedge against an unpredictable future. What is Franken food? Franken food is a term invented by environmental and health activist groups to denote any food that has been genetically modified. GM, or that contains genetically modified organisms, GMO. Opposition to GM food is based on concerns that the gene pool of natural plants could be altered permanently if exposed to pollen from genetically altered plants. There is also fear that people and animals that consume GM food might have allergic reactions to altered protein or could develop health problems later. What is adaptive radiation? As populations move into new environments and adapt to those local conditions, there is an increase in diversity. This splitting creates a divergence from the original population. When diagrammed on paper, the new populations appear to be radiating outward from the original like the spokes of a wheel an iguana in the Galapagos Islands. Because island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland, 
they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. What does species diversity have to do with evolution? Species diversity is direct evidence that evolution has occurred. When species can be identified in which individuals share a number of significant traits. While also having some unique adaptations, it is logical to assume that the common traits are the result of common origin while the unique ones demonstrate adaptive radiation. An example of the significance of species diversity would be Darwin's finches of the Galapagos Islands. While the species share a common body structure that is inherited from a common ancestor, each species also demonstrates variations in beak size and structure that are indicative of their adaptations to local environments and the type of food available. What is a biopesticide? A biopesticide is a chemical derived from an organism that interferes with the metabolism of another species. An example is the Bt toxin Bacillus thuringiensis which interferes with the absorption of food in insects but does not harm mammals. Why did sexual reproduction evolve? The appearance and maintenance of energetically expensive traits like sexual reproduction will occur only if there is a net benefit to the fitness of individuals with those traits. There are costs to sexual reproduction, for example. Finding a mate can demand considerable time and energy. More importantly, Individuals engaging in sexual reproduction only pass on half of their genes to each offspring. So their fitness is half that of a sexually reproducing individuals. Scientists have examined the costs and benefits of sexual reproduction and determined that it is most likely to have evolved as a way to maintain genetic diversity. Experiments have shown that populations in erratic environments or those who are reproductively isolated from the rest of their species are at an advantage when they reproduce sexually rather than asexually. By being able to mix and match alleles, individuals within these populations can maintain genetic diversity and phenotypic variation. Expanding their toolkit as a hedge against an unpredictable future. Which scientific disciplines provide evidence for evolution? Although information from any area of natural science is relevant to the study of evolution, there are several in particular that directly support the work of Darwin and Wallace. Paleobiology, geology, and organic chemistry provide insight on how living organisms have evolved. Ecology, genetics, and molecular biology also demonstrate how living species are. 
currently changing in response to their environments and therefore undergoing evolution. What is cladogenesis? Cladogenesis is the formation of a group of species that share a common ancestor. Cladogenesis can occur as a result of adaptive radiation, which is the divergence or splitting of one species into several. What are biosensors? A biosensor is a unique combination of biological substances, e. g. microbe, cell, enzyme, antibody, linked to a detector. It can be used to measure very low concentrations of a particular substance. An example of a biosensor currently on the market is the insulin pump which maintains correct blood glucose concentrations for diabetics. What is the Darwin-Wallace theory? The Darwin-Wallace theory can be summarized as the following. Species as a whole demonstrate descent with modification from common ancestors. And natural selection is the sum of the environmental forces that drive those modifications. The modifications or adaptations make the individuals in the population better suited to survival in their environment, more fit as it were. The four postulates presented by Darwin in On the Origin of Species by Natural Selection are as follows. 1. Individuals within species are variable. 2. Some of these variations are passed on to offspring. 3. In every generation more offspring are produced than can survive. 4. The survival and reproduction of individuals are not random, the individuals who survive and go on to reproduce the most are those with the most favorable variation. They are naturally selected. It follows logically from these that the characteristics of the population will change with each subsequent generation. Until the population becomes distinctly different from the original, this process is known as evolution. Why is evolution a theory? A scientific theory is an explanation of observed phenomena that is supported by the available scientific data. The term theory is used as an indication that the explanation will be modified as new data becomes available. For example, the Darwin-Wallace theory was proposed prior to the discovery of the molecular nature of genetics but has since been expanded to encompass that information as well. What is biopreservation? Biopreservation refers to the preservation and enhanced safety of food using biological materials. 
An example of this is nicin, a bacterial protein that can act as a broad-spectrum antibiotic. Nicin cannot be synthesized chemically. So the nicin producing bacteria lactobacillus must be used to generate the protein. Who coined the phrase survival of the fittest? Although frequently associated with Darwinism, this phrase was coined by Herbert Spencer. 1820-1903, an English sociologist. It is the process by which organisms that are less well adapted to their environment tend to perish and better adapted organisms tend to survive. What is the controversy surrounding the midwife toad? During the 1920s an Austrian biologist, Paul Kammerer, 1880-1926, rose to prominence with claims that he had been able to demonstrate Lamarckian evolution, that is the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Kammerer had bred midwife toads, a land breeding species, in water-filled aquaria for generations and reported that the toads had acquired the same structures that water breeding toads used to hold onto each other. When Kammerer's toads were examined, they were found to have been injected with dye to mimic the pads found on the water breeding toad species. Although Kammerer insisted that he was innocent, his reputation was ruined and he committed suicide shortly thereafter. Why are islands a good place to study evolution? Island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland. Therefore, they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. This provides researchers an opportunity to study not only how natural selection works on populations but also what forces may be at work on the mainland populations as well. What are the different types of natural selection? There are several ways in which natural selection can cause a population to change. Natural selection can cause a trait to change in one direction only. For example when individuals within a population grow taller with each generation, this is known as directional selection. Diversifying selection can cause the loss of individuals in the mid-range of a trait. For example, if there is a range in color of a certain prey species from very dark to very light. Those individuals in the mid-color range may not be able to hide from predators. The mid-color prey will then be selectively removed from the population. Leaving the population with only two forms, the very dark and the very light. In stabilizing selection, those at either end of the range are removed more often. Creating selection pressure for the mid-range. Selection can also work on traits important to sexual reproduction, 
this is known as sexual selection. What are some examples of genetic engineering in plants? Genetically engineered plants include transgenic crop plants that are resistant to herbicides used in weed control. These transgenic crops carry genes for resistance to herbicides such that all plants in a field are killed with the exception of the modified plant. Transgenic soybeans, corn, cotton, canola, papaya, rice. And tomatoes are used by many farmers in the United States. Plants resistant to predatory insects have also been genetically engineered. What is Starlink corn? Starlink is a bioengineered corn variety that was genetically modified to include a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, which produces a protein, called an endotoxin, that kills some types of insects. Bt endotoxin has been registered as a biopesticide in the United States since 1961. And the Bt endotoxin has been used by organic farmers for biological pest control. The endotoxins only become activated in the guts of susceptible insects. Because of the significant losses to corn crops caused by the European corn borer, scientists targeted the corn plant itself as a candidate for insertion of the Bt gene. What is the evolutionary time scale? Trends in the fossil record require at least one million years to resolve themselves. And so paleontologists tend to work on a scale of 10 to 20 million years. Evolutionary biologists working on living species tend to describe selection as it occurs over a decade or less. What are some examples of genetic engineering in animals and microbes? One of the earliest applications of biotechnology was the genetic engineering of a growth hormone. Bovine GH, produced naturally in the bovine pituitary. Bovine GH can increase milk production in lactating cows. Using biotechnology, scientists bioengineered the gene that controls bovine GH production into E. Coli, grew the bacteria in fermentation chambers, and thus produced large quantities of bovine GH. The bioengineered bovine GH, when injected into lactating cows, resulted in an increase of up to 20% in national milk production. Using bovine GH, farmers are able to stabilize milk production in their herds. Avoiding fluctuations in production levels. A similar regimen was adapted using the pig equivalent of growth hormone, porcine GH. Injected in pigs, 
porcine GH reduced back fat and increased muscle, meat, gain. The first transgenic animal available as a food source on a large scale was the salmon. Which reached US food markets in 2001, following rigid evaluations of consumer and environmental safety. These salmon have the capability of growing from egg to market size, 6 to 10 pounds, in 18 months. As compared to conventional fish breeding, which takes up to 36 months to bring a fish to market size. The use of transgenic salmon can help reduce overfishing of wild salmon stocks. What is a Flavor SAVR tomato? The Flavor Savor tomato was produced in response to consumer complaints that tomatoes were either too rotten to eat when they arrived at the store or too green. Growers had found that they could treat green tomatoes in the warehouse with ethylene. A gas that causes the tomato skin to turn red. However, the tomato itself stayed hard. In the late 1980s researchers at Colgene, a small biotech company, discovered that the enzyme polygalactouronase, PG, controlled rotting in tomatoes. The scientists reversed the DNA sequence of PG, the effect was that tomatoes turned red on the vine and yet the skin of the tomatoes remained tough enough to withstand the mechanical pickers. However, before the Flavor Savor tomato was introduced to the market, Colgene disclosed to the public how the tomato was bioengineered. This caused a public protest that led to a worldwide movement against genetically modified organisms, GMO. What is homology? Homology is the similarity in traits between two species that is indication of their common ancestry. For example, the general characteristics of cheetahs, lions, tigers, and house cats are whiskers, retractable claws, tooth structure, and so forth. These similarities indicate that each of these traits was inherited from a feline ancestor. What is sexual selection? When individuals of the same sex differ in their mating success and that difference is correlated to the presence or absence of a particular trait, that trait is said to be the result of sexual selection. Traits that provide no benefit to survival but that increase the likelihood of the male acquiring a mate are examples of sexual selection. What is an adaptation? This term refers to how well an organism adapts to its environment. Adapted individuals survive and reproduce better than individuals without those adaptations. An example of an adaptation would be the long ears and limbs of rabbits living in desert-like conditions. These adaptations allow the rabbits to radiate heat more efficiently over a large surface area.
thus making it easier to survive in a harsh climate. How widespread is the use of GMO crops? As of 2002 more than 120 million acres, 40 million hectares of fertile farmland were planted with GMO crops. The acreage is confined to four countries, United States, containing 68% of the total acreage. Argentina, 22%, Canada, 6%, and China. 3% What is Darwinian fitness? Darwinian fitness is measured as the average representation of one allele or genotype. In the next generation of a population as compared to other alleles or genotypes. In other words, those alleles or genotypes that become more common within the population are more fit. What is anagenesis? When a species gradually changes over time to the extent that it becomes a new species but does not give rise to additional species, no divergence, this is described as onogenesis. What books did Darwin publish? Journal of Researches into the Geology and Natural History of the Various Countries Visited by HMS Beagle Under the Command of Capt. Fitzroy, R.N., from 1832 to 1836, 1839, Geological Observations on Coral Reefs, Volcanic Islands And on South America, being the geology of the voyage of the Beagle, under the command of Capt. Fitzroy, during the years 1832 to 36, 1846, a monograph on the subclass Cirripedia. 1851 to 1854, a monograph on the fossil Lepodidae, or pedunculated cirripedes of Great Britain. 1851, a monograph on the fossil balanity and verosity of Great Britain, 1854, on the origin of species by means of natural selection. Or, the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life, 1859, on the various contrivances by which British and foreign orchids are fertile leased by insects, and on the good effects of intercrossing. 1861, the movements and habits of climbing plants, 1865, the variation of animals and plants under domestication. 1868, the descent of man, and selection in relation to sex. 1871, the expression of the emotions in man and animals, 1872, insectivorous plants, 1876, the effects of cross and self. Fertilization in the vegetable kingdom, 1876, 
the different forms of flowers on plants of the same species. 1877, the power of movement in plants, 1880, the formation of vegetable mold, through the action of worms. With observations on their habits, 1881, the movements and habits of climbing plants, 1882. What is golden rice? In 2000 scientists used three genes, two from a daffodil and one from a bacterium. To create a rice variety that contained beta-carotene. The importance of this is that in the human body, Beta-carotene is converted to vitamin A. A crucial vitamin missing from the diet of millions of poor people around the world. Lack of vitamin A causes the death of an estimated 1 million of Asia's poorest. Children due to weakened immune systems, vitamin A deficiency is also linked to blindness. The rice was called golden rice because it turned yellow like a daffodil. What is gradualism? The Darwin-Wallace theory of evolution is based on gradualism. The idea that speciation occurs by the gradual accumulation of new traits. This would allow one species to gradually evolve into a different looking one over many. Many generations, which is the scale of evolutionary time. What is the controversy surrounding Bt corn and the monarch butterfly? Bt corn was specifically engineered to control the European corn borer. Which in 2003 caused an estimated $1 billion worth of damage to you. S. Farmers in 1999 a study was released, based on controlled laboratory feeding experiments. That showed that corn pollen from Bt altered plants would kill monarch butterflies. In the study, three-day-old monarch butterfly larvae were fed milkweed leaves dusted with Bt corn pollen. The larvae ate less, grew slower, and had a higher mortality rate than those. Fed milkweed with no corn pollen or milkweed coated with non-BT corn pollen. However, the laboratory study did not provide information on the number of BT pollen. Grains that were consumed by the monarch larvae in order to observe the lethal effects. Also, no information was provided on the effects on older, larger larvae which would be expected to have a higher tolerance to Bt toxicity. Headlines such as attack of the killer corn and nature at risk triggered regulatory action. On the part of the European Union to ban the importation and use of Bt corn varieties in Europe. In response, other researchers described the use of Bt as a biocontrol agent since 1938 because of its selective toxicity to certain species within a given insect order. After extensive studies dealing with the likelihood that Bt corn pollen would be found on milkweed plants. 
near cornfields that are close to the habitats of monarch butterflies. Certain safeguards were set to decrease the risk of Bt corn pollen to monarchs. 1. Farmers in monarch-rich areas should choose to grow Bt corn with lower toxicity levels. 2. Plant a border of non-Bt corn around a Bt cornfield to decrease the problem of pollen drift to milkweed plants, and 3. Plant milkweeds at sites away from cornfields to increase. The probability of female monarchs encountering milkweed plants that are uncontaminated with corn pollen. What is the significance of on the origin of species? Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, first proposed a theory of evolution. Based on natural selection in his treatise on the origin of species. The publication of On the Origin of Species ushered in a new era in our thinking about the nature of man. The intellectual revolution it caused and the impact it had on man's concept of himself and the world were greater than those caused by the works of Isaac Newton, 1642 to 1727, and other individuals. The effect was immediate the first edition sold out on the day of publication, November 24, 1859. Origin has been referred to as the book that shook the world. Every modern discussion of man's future, the population explosion, the struggle for existence. The purpose of man and the universe, and man's place in nature rests on Darwin. The work was a product of his analyses and interpretations. Of his findings from his voyages on the HMS Beagle. In Darwin's day the prevailing explanation for organic diversity was the story of creation in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Origin was the first publication to present scientifically sound well-organized evidence for the theory of evolution. Darwin's theory was based on natural selection in which the best or fittest individuals survive more often than those who are less fit. If there is a difference in the genetic endowment among these individuals that correlates with fitness, the species will change over time and will eventually resemble more closely. As a group, the fittest individuals. It is a two-step process, the first consists of the production of variation, and the second. Of the sorting of this variability by natural selection in which the favorable variations tend to be preserved. What separates humans from primates? Morphologic and molecular studies suggest that our closest living relative species is the chimpanzee. Although some of the evidence is conflicting. We do know that analysis of protein structure in both chimps and humans indicates that approximately 98% of our gene sequences are functionally identical. Meaning that if the gene sequences differ it is not enough to radically change the proteins produced from them. It is also estimated that our last common ancestor with the chimp would have lived at least 5 million years ago.
How did Hugo de Vries demonstrate sympatric speciation? Hugo de Vries, 1848-1935, discovered a way in which a population could become a separate species while still sharing the same environment with other members of the species. The process, known as sympatric speciation, occurs almost exclusively in plants rather than in animals and involves a series of rare genetic accidents that can occur during the formation of gametes, eggs and sperm. As a result, gametes are formed as polyploids that is. They have extra copies of each chromosome and thus are unable to match their chromosomes to others of the same species. Since these polyploids are forced to mate only with other polyploids in the population, they are reproductively isolated and considered a new species. What is scientific creationism? Scientific creationism is an attempt to promote the teaching of creation theory in schools. By designating creationist theory scientific, proponents hope to gain equal time with evolutionary theory in school curricula. Creationist theory proposes that species observed today are the result of intelligent design or special creation rather than the result of the effects of natural selection. What is artificial selection? Artificial selection is the selective breeding of organisms for a desired trait. Such as breeding a rose plant to produce larger flowers or a chicken to lay more eggs. Darwin cited artificial selection as evidence that species are not immutable that is. Unable to be changed by selection. Could the events depicted in Jurassic Park actually happen? In this novel, later adapted into a film, about dinosaur reincarnation. Scientists bring dinosaurs back to life by using dinosaur DNA, obtained from insects embedded in fossilized amber. There are several flaws in this scenario. One is that prehistoric mosquitoes were most likely to have digested the dinosaur blood, making the DNA unusable. Also, one would need a complete genome, not one that has been augmented with amphibian DNA, to genetically reconstruct a dinosaur. The best way that dinosaurs could be recreated would probably be by altering bird DNA. Since dinosaurs and birds are genetically related. What is balanced polymorphism? When a trait exists in several forms within a population, it is said to be polymorphic. Polymorphisms that maintain a stable distribution within the population over generations are known as balanced polymorphisms. 
balanced polymorphism can be maintained if heterozygotes. Mixtures of two types, have a fitness advantage. When this occurs, both types of alleles are maintained in the population. A classic example of this is sickle cell anemia. Individuals who are heterozygous, HH, are resistant to malaria, dominant homozygotes. HH, are susceptible to malaria, and recessive homozygotes, HH, have sickle cell anemia. Because those who have both types of alleles and who live in malaria prone regions are the most likely to survive long enough to produce children. Both types are maintained in the population at a relatively stable rate. What is balanced polymorphism? When a trait exists in several forms within a population, it is said to be polymorphic. Polymorphisms that maintain a stable distribution within the population over generations are known as balanced polymorphisms. Balanced polymorphism can be maintained if heterozygotes. Mixtures of two types, have a fitness advantage. When this occurs, both types of alleles are maintained in the population. A classic example of this is sickle cell anemia. Individuals who are heterozygous, HH, are resistant to malaria, dominant homozygotes. HH, are susceptible to malaria, and recessive homozygotes, HH, have sickle cell anemia. Because those who have both types of alleles and who live in malaria-prone regions are the most likely to survive long enough to produce children. Both types are maintained in the population at a relatively stable rate. What is industrial melanism? Industrial melanism is the change in the coloration of species that occurs as a result of industrial pollution. Increased air pollution as a result of the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain during the 18th and 19th centuries led to an accumulation of soot on many structures including tree trunks. As a result, Organisms whose coloration allowed them to use the trees to hide from predators lost that advantage and were eaten more often by predators. A classic example of this was the peppered moth, Biston bitularia, whose coloration is polymorphic. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, collection records indicate that the darker or melanistic form was almost unknown. But by 1895 it constituted about 98% of the moths collected. The two forms eventually reached a state of balanced polymorphism. Because the change in morphology could be directly linked to the change in industry. This process is described as industrial melanism. What is industrial melanism? Industrial melanism is the change in the coloration of 
species that occurs as a result of industrial pollution. Increased air pollution as a result of the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain during the 18th and 19th centuries led to an accumulation of soot on many structures including tree trunks. As a result, organisms whose coloration allowed them to use the trees to hide from predators lost that advantage and were eaten more often by predators. A classic example of this was the peppered moth, Biston bitularia, whose coloration is polymorphic. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, collection records indicate that the darker or melanistic form was almost unknown. But by 1895 it constituted about 98% of the moths collected. The two forms eventually reached a state of balanced polymorphism. Because the change in morphology could be directly linked to the change in industry. This process is described as industrial melanism. What is Malarian mimicry? Fritz Muller, 1821-1897, a German-born zoologist, described a phenomenon in 1878 in which a group of species with the same adaptations against predation was also of similar appearance. This phenomenon is now called Malarian mimicry. Malarian mimics include wasps and bees. All of which have similar yellow and black striped patterns that serve as a warning to potential predators. What is Malarian mimicry? Fritz Muller, 1821-1897, a German-born zoologist, described a phenomenon in 1878 in which a group of species with the same adaptations against predation was also of similar appearance. This phenomenon is now called Malarian mimicry. Malarian mimics include wasps and bees. All of which have similar yellow and black striped patterns that serve as a warning to potential predators. What is Bacheon mimicry? In 1861 Henry Walter Bates, 1825 to 1892, a British naturalist proposed that a non-toxic species can evolve, especially in color and color pattern, to look or act like a toxic or unpalatable species in order to avoid being eaten by a predator. The classic example is the viceroy butterfly, which resembles the unpalatable monarch butterfly. This is called Bacheon mimicry. Bates is also well known as a colleague of Alfred Russell Wallace. In fact, it was Bates who introduced Wallace to botany and field collecting of animals and plants. What is Bacheon mimicry? In 1861 Henry Walter Bates, 1825-1892, a British naturalist, proposed that a non-toxic species can evolve, 
especially in color and color pattern. To look or act like a toxic or unpalatable species in order to avoid being eaten by a predator. The classic example is the viceroy butterfly, which resembles the unpalatable monarch butterfly. This is called Batesian mimicry. Bates is also well known as a colleague of Alfred Russell Wallace. In fact, it was Bates who introduced Wallace to botany and field collecting of animals and plants. What is convergent evolution? Convergent evolution occurs when diverse species develop similar adaptations in response to the same environmental pressure. For example, dolphins and sharks are descended from different ancestors. But as a result of sharing an aquatic environment, they have similar adaptations in body shape. What is convergent evolution? Convergent evolution occurs when diverse species develop similar adaptations in response to the same environmental pressure. For example, dolphins and sharks are descended from different ancestors. But as a result of sharing an aquatic environment, they have similar adaptations in body shape. What is divergent evolution? When two species move away from the traits that they share with a common ancestor. As they adapt to their own environments, the result is called divergent evolution. As an example, imagine the diversity among bird species. Ducks, hummingbirds, ostriches, and penguins are all descended from an ancestral bird species. Yet they have all diverged as they adapted to their particular environments. What is divergent evolution? When two species move away from the traits that they share with a common ancestor. As they adapt to their own environments, the result is called divergent evolution. As an example, imagine the diversity among bird species. Ducks, hummingbirds, ostriches, and penguins are all descended from an ancestral bird species. Yet they have all diverged as they adapted to their particular environments. What is microevolution? Microevolution is the change in allelic frequencies that occurs at the level of the population or species. When individuals with certain traits are more successful at reproduction, the ensuing generation will have more copies of that trait. Should the trend continue, eventually the traits will become so common in the population that the population profile will change. This is microevolution. What 
What is microevolution? Microevolution is the change in allelic frequencies that occurs at the level of the population or species. When individuals with certain traits are more successful at reproduction, the ensuing generation will have more copies of that trait. Should the trend continue, eventually the traits will become so common in the population that the population profile will change. This is microevolution. <laughs>